spread out on the dash. Running man, how I get to the cash? Hey, this polo's Gucci, no Lauren. Uh, she said I'm too fly, be touring. Hey, Wrist looking like I poured it. Flat, James Harden, how I'm scoring. Uh, Riding the two when I get to the bush. Eyes low, I be off for the cuz. VB's on, all I feel is the lugs. Pockets full, shit look like a buck. Hello everybody and welcome to the Western Illinois Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. The 2-4 and four Leathernecks taking on the Texas A&M Aggies. They are undefeated. They are 3-0. They are ranked. Please go ahead and drop a like on the video as well as subscribe if you're new. Franchise gaming here. Franchise content all day, every day. There's this and plenty other franchises. As Kevin Pride going to start us off with a 3-0 lead. Later on, Texas A&M would get a nice little jumper there for two. That's Fitch. Then a little bit of cherry picking off of a turnover to take the lead for Texas A&M. And the Yankees up 4-3 until this three-pointer from Derek Gonzalez goes down. Then a nice pass inside. Derek Gonzalez doing some work inside, which he doesn't normally do. It's now 9-6. There's fundamentals. He can make shots as well. Nice pass there by Texas A&M, and they will get some buckets as well. Here is an 11-8 score, and inside, playing good with the big men. As here would be Millsap from outside for three, making it a 14-10 ball game. And then inside game again with Texas A&M. That is how they're staying in this thing so far. And Tyrell Rainmaker just decides to pull up and nail a three. West Illinois up five points. Then they would be up three points after that nice inside shot. But again, Millsap getting it done out on the perimeter with a nice shot himself. Inside bank shot for Texas A&M, keeping them in the ball game. And there's Kevin Bride knocking one down. It's 22 to 16 here at this point in the ball game, and a nice putback. There for Texas A&M. They get an open man and Barry, but he kicks it out for a nice three-pointer, bringing Texas A&M back into it. Then they would make a shot and take a lead, one of their first leads in the ball game since it was 4-3 to three early on. Now it's 25-22, but again, Western Illinois just going to plug away. But here's a deep three, and that one's going to take Western Illinois out of it a little bit. As now they're down four, and now they're down six. As halftime coming close, there's a three, and that's going to go down before the buzzer. So it's going to be a three-point deficit for the Western Illinois Leathernecks at the half. As you can see, shooting only 47%. Texas A&M Aggies out here shooting 59%, a much better percentage. And we'll see if Western Illinois can change that as they start off the second half with a three to tie the ball game. Texas A&M comes back with a quick two. Horshack hobble snack out there to Millsap, who would drain a three as well. So making it 33-32 in favor of Western Illinois. The inside shot for Texas A&M goes in, and then a nice little inside jumper by Western Illinois. Later they'd get the ball in fundamentals, just doing his fundamentals, as he would make the shot there and give a three-point lead to the Leathernecks until the Aggies come back with a two-point of their own. Millsap from the outside makes it a four-point ball game in favor of the Purple. Then a two-point game there for Texas A&M as Gonzalez unstoppable from the outside. He, they are up three points with just over five minutes to go as there's another inside nice shot, making it a five-point lead for Western Illinois. Tyrell Rainmaker makes it an eight-point lead. Now it's a seven-point lead, and Derek Gonzalez contributing once more with another bucket. It's a ten-point lead. Inside game still remaining strong for Texas A&M. There's Kevin Pride a little bit outside, a little bit with some coverage on him, but he's able to make it and make it a ten-point lead. There's a nice shot from Texas A&M. It is now going to be a four-point lead for them as time is st starting to expire fundamentals with a good contribution there but Texas A&M would answer it's a four-point game but now an eight-point game as two straight two-pointers from Western Illinois unanswered come through now a four-point game after a beautiful shot and that one will make it a one-point game but the foul shots would make it a three-point game here's Texas A&M with the last shot it is open and it is no good and Texas A&M will fall here at home to the Western Illinois Leatherneck. So the ranked Aggies will now surely be unranked as Derek Gonzalez will get the player of the game here. 17 points. He was 4 of 10 from 3-point with 1 rebound and 2 assists. Very nice game for him. 
good to see after the opening games where he wasn't really doing much of anything. As you can see, the field goal percentages did change quite a little bit here as Texas A&M came back down to earth and Western Illinois improved themselves enough to win this ballgame. Fitch with 10 points from the power forward spot and Miner with 12 points from the center spot. You can clearly tell Texas A&M's game was all about inside game, inside pounding it inside to the two bigger men on the team. And as you can see, Western Illinois was able to come out here. 8.6 boards for Fundamentals, 13 points for Millsap. A lot of double-digit points there for the three smaller players, so they were able to win out. Now the Leathernecks at home again, and they're taking on the conference rival North Dakota State Bison, who previously had Jack Manhattan in previous seasons and has been a really tough competitor, but this year they're 0-6. No Jack Manhattan, no Visakis, none of those guys who were doing such a great job for them, and Millsap starts it off right away with a three. Uh, now NDSU going to pound it inside for a two, and there's another nice outside shot, but that's a long two for Millsap. Now another two inside for NDSU. They would go ahead and they would pass it in, and they would take their first lead of the ball game with three straight two-pointers. But Derek Gonzalez would say no, no to that as he makes it an 8-6 ball game with a long three, and then North Dakota State tying it right there with a two. And then they would take a three to take the lead later on after a nice defensive stand. Here's Derek Gonzalez. He's going to tie the ball game up at 11 with a Bomberman three. And then just going around everybody right there, Renecki. Going to get it done for the lead for NDSU. But the three-pointer right there and the three-pointer right there put Western Illinois up by a total of four points. Then fundam fundamentals just getting it done right there. And there is a nice inside play for Big B. Remember him as he has not been this great this season. But there's Tyrell Rainmaker on the... Very nice layup. It's going to be 23-14. NDSU with some nice passing, much like the Hoosiers movie. And that is going to get inside for some points. There is Horshack Hobblesnack. We love to see him doing some things. But a long three right there for NDSU at the end of the half is going to make it a 25-19 halftime game. Western Illinois only slightly better at field goal percentage in this game with a 45% mark. 40 for NDSU. They would start the scoring right away here in the second half as they take an early two. Answered by NDSU. And then Tyrell Rainmaker pulling up for three. There's a 32-23 ball game and now a 35-23 ball game from the assist from Rainmaker to Millsap as a timeout needed to be taken there. Good shooting there by NDSU on the inside portion of the court. And then a nice three-pointer by Rainmaker. It's a 13-point game. Nobody's really scoring a ton of points as NDSU continues to pound inside. It's a 38-27 to ball game. And there's Kevin Pride. He can do a little work down low, I guess, as well. Here's a long shot by Rawlski. Raecki, I really can't say that name. But then Horshack Hobblesnack going to come in. Get some points inside. Hobble Snack does it twice in a row right there. And Kevin Pride adds from the outside. It's a 16-point game. And Millsap with some nice mid-range jumper right there. As well as Walker getting in on the action as he makes a nice shot. From the outside, Millsap, another huge shot. It's 56-35. to 58-35. Now 61-35. And that it would end 63 to 38. No chance for NDSU in this ball game, especially in the second half. The first half, they were pretty close, but it ended up being a 55 field goal percentage for Western Illinois and only 32 for North Dakota State. Kevin Pry with 13 points on the day, Millsap with 15, Tyrell Rainmaker with 11, Fundamentals with 6 and 8 boards, Horshack Hobblesnack with 6 and 4 boards. For them, Rolecki would get 7 points, 16 for the small forward Stockman. So he was their leading scorer in the ballgame. But that was all they were able to do as we take a quick look at the conference and how that is set up as we are 4-4 four and four overall, 1-0 and oh in the conference. We got some tough games coming up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Franchise content all day, every day here on Franchise Gaming. Yo
you're a pretty little star boy.